In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how I put together this cart, a Christmas cart full of all kinds of Christmas treats, delicious things. And this is actually the same cart that I used for the um, Streets of Paris event, the painter's cart. So it's a really nice 112 scale uh, piece. So um, if you're looking for something like this or you want to add it to some other scene that you have, um, this may be an option. So let's get started and I'll walk you through how I did everything. The core of the project is a peddler's cart, which is made from a kit. And uh, the first image here, you can see uh, how it looks put together from different angles. And then I have a picture just to kind of show you a little bit better of how it goes together. There's, um, there's a bottom, there's a top, uh, you know, of the box part sides, and then those long sides go all the way down. And then there is a piece that goes over the top, uh, over the top of the two windows. And then you can see I've got the panel, the other side panel off. And then there are, um, there's wheels for the back and then a couple of dowels. So um, you can kind of get an idea how that goes together. And here you can see it put together. Here you can see that I've painted the cart red on the top area and then gold on the bottom. And then uh, the uh, wheels uh, also painted those gold. And then you can see at the top, I've got this uh, die cut gingerbread trim. And uh, then I've also added some ribbon from my stash uh, to the sides. And the way I do that is I just run those through a Xyron machine to get the sticky stuff on the back so I don't have to use glue and then apply that to uh, to whatever I'm attaching it to. And then here you can see a top view of the um, of the gingerbread trim that I put on each side of the top. And that just kind of dresses it up and it also gives me a place to hang things from the lighting from and to attach the wreath. And then you can see that I've used a piece of uh, paper, decorative uh, Christmas paper, on, on the, the base or the, the, uh, the flat area of the cart. And that paper, I use that and I use it a couple other places too. It's from the six by six uh, paper pad that I used for the matchbox ornaments. I had quite a bit left over. So the size of the pattern all worked really well for this. Now to further decorate the side, I've added some paper images. You can see some holly leaves and berries and then you can see some gingerbread uh, looking uh, images. And the holly leaves and berries come from this collage sheet here. And um, you can see it comes with all kinds of goodies on that that are great for decorating the cart. And I actually use the ones at the top. You'll see a picture here in a minute um, of the candy canes. I use those and I cut them out. I actually ended up printing it more than once and I cut those out and back them. And then I use glossy accents on those uh, candy canes to make those pop out and look more three dimensional before I put them on the sides. But you can see how I've done the holly leaves there. And then uh, the gingerbread pieces come from this collage sheet. Uh, this is one that I did a few years ago go for a Santa's village and it's got a lot of good pieces on it that work well uh, for this particular project so some of the larger gingerbread pieces I used on the outside and then you're going to see me use some of the smaller pieces later on and then of course you will also see how I use those um, the uh, the soldiers that you see there and it also comes in a digi kit which is nice you get all the same images but you can make them whatever size that you want Here's a better look of the side. Um, you can see I've used uh, at the bottom area there, I've used uh, more of the gingerbread images, the hearts and the, and the gingerbread man. And up at the top, some too. And then now you can see how I've attached that, um, the candy cane uh, uh, roof looking uh, uh, piece to the top on each side. So that, you know, kind of dressed up that area. And then you can see the two soldiers. So I basically um, printed the soldier twice and flipped him so that they would be flanking each side of the front and so that's how I dressed it up and then to cover if you look at the wheel cap you can see I've used another little gingerbread image uh, to cover that wheel cap and, and kind of dress that up and then notice in each of the uh, each of the soldiers hands that they have a large candy cane. Now another thing that I did is I wanted to add shelving to the cart and that way it would give me uh, a way to display everything and so it wouldn't be flat you know you and I felt like I could get more in as well so I used a uh, half inch square basswood very soft it's really easy to cut and you can see there I've I've done three um, three layers of the stairs and then you can see I've got an image here of the side and so um, I used two for the bottom and then I put one uh, glued that on top of the two and then the third one is kind of a little bit further back and that just gave me more room uh, it kind of hangs out the back of the of the cart but it just gave me more room to put more stuff on and here you can see it's glued in place inside and you can see how it gives me all the shelving 
um, I can put some stuff on the bottom and then uh, then start putting things on those shelves. And then I again, I covered those uh, the basswood with the same decorative paper from that six by six uh, paper pad that I used before. Now to make the wreath that I uh, have in the center at the top, I started with a, a metal ring and it's a two inch ring. Then I took this wired holly uh, leaf and uh, vine here or string and I started wrapping it around the um, the ring and I pushed it as tight as I could so I could get as thick as I could and just kept wrapping all the way around. And then to decorate that, I added uh, candy canes to the top. Those are the same candy canes that each of the soldiers are holding. And then you can see I've used a couple of beads. I've got a nutcracker and I've got a Santa. And then I had a couple of uh, little bells in my stash that I used that kind of look like ornaments. And then in the middle is just a pretty little ribbon. And then that's glued on top of the top of that where the, uh, the gingerbread trim is. Now here you get a good view of everything on the top. And um, after I put the wreath in place and then I put the two side candy cane uh, things in place, then I just took some strings of, of miniature uh, lights. They're metallic looking uh, Christmas lights. And then just draped those over everything just to give it a little bit more of a Christmas feel. Now, one of my favorite things are the little miniature cookies. And you can see there in the tray, there is a, um, a gingerbread man, uh, some trees, a star, and then another row of gingerbread men. And the way I made that is I used these little cutters. They're really tiny. And uh, I've kind of laid things out in the order of what I did. You can see what the cutter looks like uh, in terms of face up. And then I just rolled out my clay. Now I rolled out the clay so that it was a little bit thinner than, um, than the cutter so that it would cut completely through. And then I pressed that into the clay and then removed it. And then now you can see the clay inside. And to get this clay out, I used a little tool. You can use anything you want, but I used the flat end of that to just, just very carefully push that out of the mold and then you can see it turned over. Now it will make some marks on the back, but you don't see that side. So what you're looking at the very last picture is the front side of it. And then you can see the gingerbread man there. Now it, you could be using, this is polymer clay that I'm going to bake, but you could use paper clay. And if you did that, I would just suggest that you leave it in the mold until it dries and it'll pull away from the mold because as the uh, moisture uh, evaporates and it dries out, it'll shrink a little bit. So then you'll just be able to pop it right out of the mold. So in order to display the cookies, I've used this little tray, and it's just a little silver tray that I've added some of the decorative paper to make it look a little bit more festive. And then to paint the cookies after I bake them, um, I, as a paintbrush, I used a round toothpick. And then the paint that I used, I used patina paints, um, mainly because they are a little bit shiny and um, they're not real glossy. And um, they, are, they also go on a little bit thicker you could use any paint you want, whatever you're comfortable with. But um, for the for the uh, the little gingerbread men, of course, I did eyes and a little round mouth and red buttons, and then a little white on the arms and the feet, and then the um, and then the trees. Of course, I iced them with green first, and I, I did more than one uh, coat of the paint, and then came back in and just did little dots of red for ornaments on that. And then for the star cookie, I filled that in with white paint, again, doing a couple of, of coats of that. And then in the center are red microbeads that look like they're a filling. And then if you look towards the back behind the, uh, behind the little cakes that you see there, uh, you'll see two hearts. And uh, again, I used the, the, the little punches to make the heart and then paint the white around it and the red in the center. And then I had a different um, heart punch that was a little bit smaller. And so that I used to cut to, uh, uh, do a smaller heart and then put that in the middle. And then you can kind of see I've got some boxes in the back that I have uh, used some of those cookies in there too. And then another way of making cookies, and, and you saw me do this in the uh, chocolatier, the video with showing you how to make all the treats for that shop. If you look at this uh, tray, in the back I've got some gingerbread houses and these were beads. And so all I did was fill in the hole with a little bit of clay and paint over that. And then in front of that with the hearts and the swirls, what you're seeing there are just some beads that I 
painted. And then I took some canes, long strips of polymer clay. Um, you see me use these before and just slice them and put those on top of those to make them look like little chocolates. And then in the front, you see these little cookies and I've used this mold that you see here and uh, basically, uh, you know, put some brown clay in it and then baked it and then uh, put some balls of uh, green clay in top of that. Now in the back, you see a little checkered looking box and you see cookies in that. There's the tree cookie and then there's another cookie back behind it. And I use this mold that you see here to make cookies and it's, um, it's one of the larger ones. And of course you can make all different sizes. Again, I use the same mold in the chocolatier shop. And then the box uh, came from this collage sheet. It's filled with mini Christmas boxes that you can just cut out, score and fold and uh, make little boxes. Uh, here, I'm just using them to display a few things, but of course, if you had a different kind of project and you just needed a bunch of miniature Christmas boxes for under a tree, these, this sheet would be great. Another thing that I did is just use some pre-made treats. Um, in the picture here in the back, you see a round cake with looks like a little strawberry and some chocolate drizzled over it. That's a pre-made item. Then here you can see these little logs. Um, those are also pre-made items. And then if you look in the little jar uh, next to the checkered box, you can see some canes, different colored canes that already came made. And then in front there, you can see some uh, candy canes, some small candy canes in another jar. And those also were pre-made. And then here on the other side, you can see in the front here, you can see some balls with some silver swirls on them. Those are just beads. So those beads are stuck onto uh, sticks. And then um, I filled the holes with some clay and then just painted over that. Now in the back standing up, you see some things that are wrapped and those are larger cookies that are wrapped. Now the uh, gingerbread man is just a button. And I have put, uh, I've taken a, a, a cane that's uh, that's a candy cane looking and sliced it at polymer clay cane and glued that on over the holes that were for the, to attach the button. And I just put those on top of those holes and made it look like it was a button. And then the two trees you see came from the collage sheet that had all the gingerbread items on it. And so what I did to make them look a little bit more dimensional is I added glossy accents to um, the candies and also to the, um, to the icing that you see on there. And then of course all of them are wrapped. And the way I did this is I always hang on to all the little plastic bags I get. And uh, what I did is I just cut out little squares from the bottom of the plastic bag. And then you can see here, I've, I've inserted the button in there. And then if you wrap the open end behind and put a little piece of tape there and then bunch up the top, then I took some, uh, some um, uh, it was uh, stickers, some uh, strips of, of metallic stickers, and I just wrapped it around so act like a tie, and then I added a little glue to the back. Of course, you could use wire, or if you can work with little things really well, you might could tie a little bow, but that's basically how I wrapped up both of the, um, of the buttons and then also the paper images that you see in the back. That wraps up the Christmas cart. For the detail supply list, you'll find a link to my blog in the description area, click on that, go over, and you can see all the things that I use for this. And I will have some more Christmas tutorials for you, so stay tuned.